Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create user in MySQL server. Now we are connected to our Windows machine remotely, and then uh, there we are connected to our Linux box uh, by using the PuTTY. Uh, I have a uh, uh, workbench installed on this Windows machine, so that's one of the uh, one of the item or uh, one of the way you can use to create your user as well. And uh, also, we can use uh, the MySQL command line to create the user. So let's connect to our MySQL server on Linux box and create the user there first, and then we will create the user by using the workbench. So let me connect to the MySQL server on this Linux box. Provide the password. First of all, I would like to check if the user does exist already. I want to create a test user, so I can run this uh, command: host comma user from MySQL dot user. This is providing me the list of the users available on this MySQL server. So you can see that I do not have test here, but there are two things to notice here. Uh, one of the thing we have users with the local host, and uh, some of the users are with the IPs. What does that mean? That means uh, if uh, you have a user that uh, tells you like host is local host, uh, that means the user has to log into the machine first. Uh, in this case, uh, to this Linux machine, and then able to connect to the MySQL server. If uh, you have uh, provided the host uh, uh, um, another IP or name, uh, then uh, this uh, user can uh, connect from this this uh, IP to the Linux box um, or to, to sorry to the uh, MySQL, uh, in, uh, which is installed. Uh, in this case, it is installed on the Linux box. Um, so DBA user can connect uh, from uh, this uh, IP. That's the uh, IP for our Windows machine uh, and uh, to our MySQL server, which is installed on Linux. Okay, let's test that and uh, create a, create a user as a local host and with IP to see how it will work. So create user is very easy. So let me clear the screen. What you have to do, you have to say create user, and then uh, provide the username and uh, let's say single quotes at the rate local host. So what uh, we are telling here, this user should be only able to connect to the this uh, MySQL server from the Windows machine, uh, sorry, to the Linux machine itself. So if uh, the user doesn't have the permission to connect to the Linux box, uh, he will not be able to use the MySQL server. So you have to give permissions uh, to the users to connect to Linux box first, and then uh, they will be able to connect to the MySQL server from the same machine. Okay, identified by password. So password is uh, my password $123. Okay, we are all good here, and this user will be created. Okay, it is then uh, and doesn't satisfy the password policy. Fine. So what we need to do here, I'm gonna copy, paste it here, and change the password. So we will say my password dollar sign. So we'll have special character one two three. Okay, now user is created. Now, if we will go and uh, take a look uh, by running the query, select user uh, host comma user from mysql dot user, you will see the test user is created. Now, let me exit from here. That I am logged in as a root, and I'm going to log in back by using a test. So, exit. Now, I'm on this uh, Linux box, and let's say I'm the test user. I have the permissions, so I can. Um, log in to the first uh, to the Linux box and then I would like to connect to the uh, MySQL. So, okay, MySQL dash U, and here we have to provide our test user and P, and now I have to provide the password. Okay, and uh, if I will say show grants, uh, it, it will show me which user I'm using uh, to log in. So you can see that uh, I'm logged in as a uh, Test at the rate local host. Now, if I will open a workbench that's on Windows machine and try to connect to this Linux machine uh, MySQL server, what will happen? So, I'm going to go ahead and create a new connection uh, right here and I will call it test and uh, tech brothers it node one that's my node name where my sql is installed so if i will use test and i will test do test connection okay it will ask me password my password dollar sign one two three 
okay save in wallet okay and you see that access denied for user test at the rate 10.0.0.5 using password yes so you notice that if we have created a user here on Linux machine and with local host the user was able to connect to the uh, MySQL server from the same machine but it cannot connect from any other machine to this uh, MySQL server so what we have to do here we will exit from here come back as a uh, root uh, and then uh, create a uh, um, user for uh, the IP 10.0.0.5 so I'm gonna go ahead and say create user and uh, it will be test again and then at the rate 10.0.0.5 and identified by password so my password dollar sign 123 okay the user is created now so if I will do the select uh, host comma user from my SQL dot user so you can see that now we have a test with two things a test from the local host and then we have test from the IP address 10.0.0.5 so this test can connect from this machine to the MySQL server now okay so we go back to our uh, Windows and where we have um, our uh, workbench installed and um, we can try to connect again one thing here when you will run this uh, um, create statements for the users and all that I will suggest uh, do the flush uh, privileges so it will refresh all the permissions okay looks good now if we come back now and say test connection you can see that it, it is a successful um, and uh, you can see the port the username and all that because uh, now we have a user that can connect uh, from the IP so if we will uh, open this uh, connection we did do we do not have permission to see databases and all that but we have only permission to connect uh, and if I'll say show grants uh, here it will show me sorry it will show me which user uh, I logged in so you can see that uh, test at the rate uh, 10.0.0.5 that's what, what um, uh, the user I'm using to connect this uh, MySQL server that's installed on the Linux uh. so creating user is very easy but just uh, be mindful of when you are creating user and the user has to come from the local host or you can, local the user has to come from uh, some uh, Windows machine okay now in the Windows machine uh, you, you can do the same thing so you have already let's say we have uh, already installed uh, uh, your workbench you can uh, run the statements here you know so let's say you say create user this is your uh, windows uh, if you notice that that uh, when i was connecting here you notice that this was uh, my, my sql ad that's uh, the windows uh, service i showed you guys in the starting of the video or i can show you again so this is a uh, my sql installed on windows machine um, also i don't have to connect to the mysql workbench and do it i can do the from the same thing from command line here in windows as well so i have to go to the bin folder so if i want to do from the command line where i need to go i will be going to the c program files okay uh, mysql 80 bin and that's where i have a mysql it's the same mysql that i used there on a linux box so if i will open command line here and then say cd okay and then i will say mysql dash u dash root p and uh, um, provide the password for my root um i believe i i don't remember the exact password on this but anyways uh, let me retry okay so uh, the password is wrong uh, yeah like why it is wrong okay yeah okay so I uh, remember my password now and you can see that I connected to the Windows uh, my SQL server that I installed on Windows and uh, I went to the bin folder there that's where I started my SQL command line and then uh, I was able to uh, use uh, the uh, uh, MySQL commands here the same thing you can do from the workbench remember I told you like if you will connect here and you want to just write uh, your create user uh, let's say if you would like to you create a user here say test one okay at the rate localhost so again 
if uh, you are saying localhost uh, that means uh, you are going to connect from this windows machine to this uh, mysql server my password three okay so we will go ahead and run this and this user is uh, created if you want to see the users uh, you can see in the user and privileges here and you can see test one is created as well so you have this uh, user and privileges and you can add the user from there as well if you're using workbench otherwise i was showing you from the command line how you can do that okay now same user if i would like to create another user called mysql2 sorry test2 and uh, from this uh, test2 and i'm going to go to the command line of the windows and i can just paste it there okay let me copy again and uh, let's see if it will mm -hmm. And you can see that the user two is created. If I will refresh this, um, let's see if this refresh it does have happened. Okay, so we can uh, user and privileges. Uh, the refresh button is right here. It's still not showing the uh, user here. I have probably have to disconnect and reconnect. So if I will go ahead and connect back, it should do it. And uh, let me connect back to this uh, server again. okay users and privileges and now you should see the test two as well so there are multiple ways you can create that uh, user uh, from uh, my from the command line in windows or in command line from the linux or you can use uh, this uh, my sql workbench to create the uh, users and privileges um, so in in the case i will show you guys, i have done actually a video on this one how to create a user in um, uh, my sql workbench and show you all the steps and what however the permission has to be provided and everything so thanks very much for watching this video and i hope you understand the whole concept of creating users so it, says it is always easy create user username at the rate host local or the ip and then identify by the password but i showed you uh, how to navigate through these tools to create those uh, users thanks very much and i will see you guys in the next video